Hello investor and trader, welcome back to another episode. So in this video, I'm gonna talk about the update video that I made a month ago on is it a buy for Alibaba, Zoom, and Tattoo Chef. I'm gonna go over the technical only, I'm not the fundamental because that's another separate video, that's a very long video. If I combine everything together, this is probably a one hour video. I don't wanna do a one hour video, that's too long. <laughs> so the technical, first stock, Alibaba. So the last video I'll talk about is it a buy around August 30th. So that's like around right here when the stock price is around 160. I did say my price target is 150. After that, 130. After that, 100. Well, a month later, here we are below 150. First, first price target check. Now you may ask, how did I know that? Well, again, it's not, it's not, you know, guessing. It's pretty much technical. So if we zoom out on the weekly chart, weekly chart for the past two years. The bull trend started right here when the crossover happened, when the 6 EMA crossed over the 20 EMA on the weekly chart, the bigger time frame, the weekly chart. It tried to rally up. Again, it fell ever since then. The stock has been traded below the 6 weekly EMA. Once in a while, it tried to retest the 20 EMA right here. It tried to retest right here. It tried to retest right here. It tried to retest right here and it fell. Ever since then, it's way below this 20 EMA, which is the blue line I, I, I highlight right here, right? All right, so where is the next resistance? Well, the next resistance right here, right? 163, after that, maybe 170, got break below, got break above that. Then the next one that has to, the ultimate retest is right here on the 20, which is 190. Is that gonna happen anytime soon? Maybe not, I don't know, we, we have to see because you know we need more candlestick formation. But as far as now, for the past three weeks in a row, it already fell, especially if when it break below 150. If you notice today, when it break below 150, that thing is like a flushing toilet, right? It just down, right? Because it's technical, right? So the next one I see support is at 130. So you can do two things, or there's several ways to do this. If you are an investor, have a put, put option at 130 and wait for it. Be very patient, collect that premium, or just wait and wait and wait. Be very patient because there's still a lot to the downside because you look at the monthly chart right here. Sorry, I'm going all over the place, but this, yeah. <laughs> Stochastic still sloping down. Monthly chart, higher, higher, low, lower high, lower high ever since here, right? The big, this is a big candle. Right? This, probably, this is pretty much saying up, 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 but no, this big red candle is saying, hey man, party's over, time to go back down. Ever since then, stock will make down, create a bunch of lower high and lower lows. Stochastic still sloping down. RSI still sloping down on the monthly chart. So when it's sloping up, we need another several more months, maybe by 2022 or into spring 2022. The point I'm trying to say is we need to see this thing curve. You see, it takes four months. You see that? Every single month down, down, down. And then four months just to see some kind of reversal. I'm thinking about about the same thing. As for now, we need more, maybe another quarter, or maybe two quarter, just to see is it going to consolidate a little bit at the bottom? We don't know where the bottom is. The next bottom is right here. Right there, around 130. If 130 does not hold, the next one is down here. Around the, one ni around the 90 and the 100. I hate to say that, but that's the next one I see. It can happen, right? Sometimes this bear trend can last for a while, like negative 60%. 70% to the point where people don't, don't even want to look at Alibaba no more. That is when you want to take opportunity and buy because Alibaba fundamentally is still a pretty good company. Next stock, Zoom. Let's analyze the, week, the, the daily first. So I made a video about Zoom right here. Notice this gap down, did not feel in the gap, continue to the downside. Let's just go to the weekly. Okay, let's maybe play back this video right here real quick to keep you guys a, a fresh refresh of memory. Zooming give out good numbers, the stocks tank. Can you imagine Zoom give out bad numbers? Oh man, this thing can probably tank 15, 20% plus. Easily. Plus a correction on, on its way, this thing can go way down. Now, if we notice I said correction on its way. Guess what? We are in a correction in September, right? Based on historical data, I'm not a psychic. I just look at data based on, you know, history of the U.S. stock market. September, usually a negative month. Zoom out a little bit more for Zoom on the weekly chart. We can clearly see this, this moving average right here slowly sloping up, the 100 daily EMA right here. So I also see a support right here too. So let me draw this right here where the previous price action, like right here. 
because the previous support around 280, 270. Also down here, over here too, in the past history. So therefore, this stock can definitely hit between this price range because you can see that weekly, this, this is still sloping down on the stochastic. All right, so that's a little quick last video. So let's go to a month later. As you can see, it's the cast is still sloping down. However, it's a little bit sloping right here, right? A little curving. It's no longer a steep down. That's what I'm trying to say. So now it's land right not yet, but quite almost there at 162. That's the next kilo of support at 160, as I mentioned in the video about a month ago that I made. So right here, right? This is the buy zone right here, somewhere around this price range. It's not gonna be exact, but just watch that level. We're almost there at 172 already, right? It's only $10 away. So what's after that if it breaks below 160? As an investor, you want to break it down, right? In, in, in increment, you don't want to buy all one price. Because the next one I see is this right here. After 160, the next one is somewhere down here. Let me try to drag this. Can I bring it down here? Yeah, somewhere down here. Now you may ask, are you sure about that? Absolutely, because if we go to the fundamental real quick, just buzz through the fundamentals. Look at Zoom. Look at the PE ratio right now, it's 82. 82 is extremely high. A healthy tech PE, 30, maybe 40, but 80, come on, man, that's way too damn high. You're paying a super premium stock right here. So therefore, even this stock tank 50%, right? Like one, 50% of this, like what? Let's see, one, four, yeah, one, 150. This thing still has a PE of 40. So I have to keep that in mind. That's the, that's the downside. Next stock, TTCF. TTCF filled in the gap already, so that's good. Because gap normally get filled. I think 98% plus gap will get filled. How about this gap right here? So it earning tank, tank, tank right here, reversal signal. RSI, RSI convergence right here. Notice right here is, now it's kind of hindsight, right? But then at that time, I will, first of all, I don't really look at TTCF. I just saw it so damn popular on YouTube. I just want to cover it. <laughs> so this right here is convergence diversion right here. So if you don't, if you don't know that what that is, it's right here. It's called a hidden. Convergence divergence. So let me zoom out to have a better picture. Where did that picture go? Right here. Hidden. See? No, never mind. Isn't it this right here? Sorry, I thought it was hidden, but it's not. So where is the stock price? Stock price kind of level out. Medium reverse of RSI's increase. So this right here. So let me go to TTCF. The stock price falling. RSI is a little increasing, right? Kind of right here is kind of level out right here around the 16. But notice RSI right here is increasing followed by this kind of right here. This pretty much give you the signal right here. We are going back up trend. So that's the RSI right here, the, the divergent convergence, pretty much the reversal signal that all traders or investors should watch for, unless, uh, especially if you plan to go back up, right? So that's that right there. And then this is what I look for in Alibaba too. I use this right here on the bigger time frame, the weekly, the monthly, and the daily. But so far, I just don't see that any divergent convergence yet. So therefore, I'm not gonna buy it yet for Alibaba. Now for TTCF, notice right here on the, on the daily, okay, the daily. Our stochastic is very low. RSI is in the middle, so it could go lower, or it could because sometimes stochastic it goes like this for a very long time. It doesn't have to do this, you know. Sometimes it does this down and go like this for a very long time, and finally go back up. Now let's go to the weekly and see what we get. All right, it's kind of sloping down. I can see key level support right here on the 100 EMA. See it hits right here almost. This is very bullish pin bar right here, which I like. Your stochastic is low, RSI is kind of low and sloping up. Anyway, so it hits right here, and hits right here, and hits right here. So therefore, TTCF could hit 17 in the future. If this does not hold, the next one is the $15 zone, which is the buy zone. If 15 breaks, the next key level is right here, around the 12 and 13 zone. Okay, let's go to the monthly real quick. The monthly, again, it shows 17 right here, this moving average right here. Hits right here, hits right here, hits right here, hits right here. So in the future, it could hit 17 for sure. So if you're gonna buy this for investing, 17, 16 would be an ideal price for entry. Even 15, you have the patient for it. Upside, you can see right here, right? It's, it's around the mid 20s so far. But if one mid 20 breaks, we can easily see above 30 because the more time it fell to break it, the more likely it will break in the future eventually. 
because Tetsushi TTCF fundamentally is not a bad company. It's you know it's it's okay. It has, it has a lot of cash. It's just that you know at, at the current market looks like it wants to go back down. All right, that's for this uh, video. See you guys in the next video. Bye.